Are we match today. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, always trying to copy me, man. Whatever. I literally came me, home from work, took off the work get up, and pulled on the t-shirt and the pants. Mm-hmm. You got cameras in my house. I'm gonna find hey, out where they at. I always feel like you got trust issues already. Me. <laughs> no privacy. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> Welcome to episode four of the Where's Brunch podcast. It's your boy Brocky here. You got girl Trina Marie. Hey, hey, hey. In the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, what's, what's good? Up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. What's good with you, man? Nothing. I'm happy. We're back. Yeah, we are back. We do this a week. Every week. And I'm really excited about this week. Oh, man. It's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> but no, before we get into all that, man, yes. how you how you been? I like to know how you are, even though I talk to you all the time. But, I know. you know. You know what? I'm feeling a little old. Feeling a little old. I'm feeling a little rusty. Explain, please. My hip. Your hip. My right hip mm. has been giving me some issues. Your right hip and your left heel. And my left heel. Mm. And there's a, maybe this is a balance thing. Maybe I don't know. maybe I'm having some kind of balance issues maybe that one, I don't. Maybe your left. You said your right hip. My right hip and my left heel. Maybe your maybe your left leg shrunk. I don't know. And your heel's hitting too hard and your right hip is compensating for you it. Know? Well, you know? Well, either I mean? way, it's feeling like it's been happening since about March. But I'm noticing like it'll go away for a minute and mm-hmm. then it comes back. It might be time to go for a massage. Gotta go on WebMD. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you what's wrong with you. They'll tell me I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the last thing you want to do is go to WebMD to look up anything. I think I have. You will, you will lose sleep that night. I, I have gout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got a tumor in my elbow. I got a tumor in my hip. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I need a hip replacement. Yeah, man, this hip song. Oh yes. Oh, hey, man. I got you your favorite. My, yeah, and I ain't, I'm saying it right on camera too. They don't need to give me a sponsorship. Hey. Sagora Vitas. Hey, you know Sagora Which one is this? What is it called? This is the, this, the, the Reserva Heredad. Reserva 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 Heredad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did we even cheers up just now? We did, right? You cheers, didn't we? I think. I think uh-huh. we did. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. cheers you know. <laughs> Just to Welcome make to sure. Episode four. We have episode four, man. We live already. We had, you know, we had the brunch table, baby. Hey. You know, you know how I go at brunch, man. You know what I'm saying? You show up late, people be eating before you get there. Brunch table is no joke. We don't wait for you. Brunch crew is ruthless. You taking too long. Mm-hmm. We try to wait, though. We do wait. We, we, we wait. When the brunch crew gets together, we do wait. We wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Man. Wait a little bit. Yeah, man. So um, it's been a it's been an interesting week for 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 the fellas uh, out here. Listen, fellas, fellas out here doing some things. We tired of y'all. Y'all tired of us, huh? We tired of y'all. Now, you know, you look real eager. I get eager <laughs> vibes from you right now. <laughs> I feel like we should just jump right into. Well, what are we jumping into first? Um, your your topic. You really want to? Okay, well, I got a list. You of, have a list. I have a list of of guys who've been <laughs> going through some stuff this week. Oh, you want to? Oh, look at the men support group. We got a, a few guys here. Uh, we got Adam Adam Levine, <laughs> right? He trifling. What do what, what do you do? He slip. He's sliding the DMs. He's DMing folks. He's he's sliding in the DM. They said it's like four different chicks, uh-huh. something like that. But this one, well, there was one, but then three or four of them came forward after that. Mm-hmm. This is how it always go. Listen, this is how it always goes. Listen, I'm I'm over him. We he like he did, him. He said he didn't have an affair, right. but he definitely overstepped boundaries yeah. on he's uh, speaking inappropriately with other women outside of his wife. Inappropriate conversations. Now, mind you, she didn't give him two whole daughters, and she's expecting a third one right now. Mm-hmm. Then he was trying to name the baby after one of the mistresses. Yeah, he they, <laughs> he reached out to her, said, no, shorty pregnant, I want to name the baby after you, something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's trife. Listen. That's trife right there. That's, Adam, that's, I can't I can't defend you, brother. That's burning bed material. Damn. <laughs> Burn, you said what? Burning Wait, bed. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> I like how the you f- risked that. What the? I can't curse this early in the podcast. You gonna have me curse? You gonna get us demonetized? You seen, you seen Burning Bed? You seen that movie when she set the bed on fire? Right? From nah, her? man, I ain't seen it's that. It's like a movie from the '80s. He was cheating, and she set the bed on fire. Why? Why would she do that? Then she ain't got to place to sleep. Hey, listen. <laughs> why do people get messed up tearing up their own stuff? Listen, sometimes you, you just you get turned red. Dang, Adam. Adam, take Bre- him off the voice. 
Take you say what? Take him off the voice. Off the, oh, that's what the show he's on, the voice. Yeah, take him off the voice. I like Adam. What what group was he in? Maroon Five. Maroon Five, yo. Why you sound you sound pissed off right now? Because we like Adam. Black girls like Adam. Listen, he can't make a mistake. Or six. <laughs> the DMs, the DMs always come to the light. I don't understand why people trust DMs. Like, why would you do that? That's a record. But why do you think that these women not gonna come forward and put you on blast? Chris, Chris Brown said it. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Did he did he not say that? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say the lyrics. Yo, relax, lyrics. relax. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give you. You know what I'm saying? Other. Didn't like why do you think that's ego? That's ego. Mm-hmm. I got this so under control mm-hmm. that she would never she would never know. She would not no, not that she would never know. Yeah, she would never know. Mm-hmm. But these chicks that I'm out here, Nobody you know what I'm saying? Ever gonna say anything. No, none of y'all will ever say anything. That has to be ego. In this day and age of social media, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, and everything, why would you think otherwise? Snapchat is your best bet because that deletes after a, a, a day or something like that. Or, you know or no, no, after you look at it or something like that. Now you know these folks be screenshot. Yeah, but Snapchat I tell you if you screenshot. Mm-hmm. If somebody screenshot, it'll, it'll okay. you know, they screenshot. Then you out of there. Yeah. Now you might still have problems. Yeah. But you ain't gonna have <laughs> no more problems. <laughs> 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 yeah, this dude's gotta stop, man. Okay, who else having a, a rough week? Um, well, Brett Favre. Well, family. you heard about him still in uh, you know, redirecting five. Now he knows. I guess he knows somebody in high places. Mm-hmm. They redirected five million dollars from people who, who need it, from like welfare mm-hmm. fund, and to 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 build a stadium and his, his daughter's stadium. at his daughter's school. The <laughs> Don't he have five million dollars already? The Caucasian. Why he gotta take somebody else's money? The call Cassidy. Man, oh man. <laughs> Brett Favre is the worst. Listen, they need to blow his ass up. Excuse he, me. He been the worst for a minute Yeah, now. the blow him up though. Like just like like everybody said, just like they did Michael Vick. They need to blow him up. Take away all his little awards. Take him off of whatever. Get, lose his deals. Take his all, wranglers away. Take his wranglers away. Take it all. Take it all back. Now, and that's been a criticism. They're saying that. ESPN is not covering this the way that they cover, you know, Mike Vick and other people who had some some issues of people of um, you know, with color melanin. in their skin. People melanin. melanated folks. But what are they covering this week? Um who who's well, ESPN? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you want to get to that already? Well, well, no, that, who else this, having this, a bad no, week? that's next. That's Hold next. On. Is that next? Uh well, well, let me get the light stuff out first okay. because you got some stuff to get off your chest and mm. um Tory Lanez um, punch August Alcina in the face or something like that. Tori said he was in the studio. He don't know what nobody's talking about. He got kicked out. <laughs> He's in the studio. <laughs> He's in the studio. He, he don't know k- what y'all talking about. He got kicked off a tour because of it too. Listen, and he learned. August is telling it all too. You know he is. The- <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you should know. He is Benita Patrell. This dude's Remember gonna Benita tell. Patrell? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this dude's gonna tell, man. Didn't he not see he told everything and wrote a bad song about Jada? Isn't Tory Lane's like four foot ten? Yes. Four foot thirteen or something? Elf. Du- oh, yeah, that's that's not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Elf is, I didn't Yo, say shout out to all the to all the um height challenge brothers out there. <laughs> I'm only five seven, five Dang. eight on a good day, depending on what sneakers I got on. Dang. Okay, I just Dang, man, call the man. <laughs> We've been watching Lord of the Rings, y'all. Please You've excuse watching... Trina Marie. <laughs> I'm sorry. But for the record, that came from Trina Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Look how you just oh, for the record. For the record, that was Trina Marie. I got more bass in my voice. Holla at me. Oh gosh. What is the deal? Why? Why? I mean. These Did people, they have man, they beef get, or something? Nah, they said homie was walking by him, and he put out his hand. And, and listen, listen, this is all here. Alleged. This, I haven't heard this from allegedly. I don't care if it's alleged. I hate alleged. I hate. <laughs> I hate rappers who saying allegedly because we're trying to avoid um a, a, a you know so, so a, a subpoena. So the so the <laughs> FBI are we getting off on the FBI is going to say all right look, we think this guy has been dealing drugs. Right, uh-huh. he raps about dealing drugs. <laughs> he talks about dealing drugs. The only hiccup we have in this whole case is he says allegedly. <laughs> yeah, man, stop it, y'all rappers, stop saying allegedly. But y'all we sound can say stupid. It as a podcast, we can say allegedly so that they don't come after us for slander. 
<laughs> there you go, slander. The Where's Brunch podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, so apparently this dude, they were walking by each other or something like that, and, okay. he, and he stuck his hand out to like, you know, like dap him up, mm. and homie didn't, he didn't dap him up. Now, mm. dude apparently says, I don't know if this might be, this might be completely false. I have no, I don't care, and I don't know. But apparently, he said he had some health issues and stuff like that. And he he you know like he's scared of like monkeypox and COVID and stuff. He's trying to avoid being sick. August Alcina, that is. Yes. And didn't put a, his hand out. He's got immune. Disease. He got some. He got some issues going on, whatever. Mm-hmm. And he didn't put his hand out. Um, I don't know if he said what's up to him. I don't know what he did, but you know, Tory Lanez kept a gangster on him, I guess, and. Punch him in the face or something to that effect. So did he get jumped or just Tory just punched? I think just Tory. Just Tory. I think. Little teen tiny Dang, jumped up face, and, man. And, and swung at August Alcina. You know, hey man, Listen, that's what, that's what, that's what the internet's the web the interwebs is saying. The interwebs is the like interwebs. Short man complex, Napoleon complex. Oh, man. This is this is rough out here being a rapper, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I don't want to be no, I don't want to be rapping no more. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> on the rough week for men segment, because we are not here to talk about this, but we're going to, is, what's my man, how you pronounce his name, Aimee? Ime? Ime, Ime Yudoka. Uh-huh. Yeah, he is the Yudoka. head coach of the Boston Celtics. Mm-hmm. On his staff, is in his entire staff, is just one uh, woman, mm-hmm. right? And apparently, he is also Nia Long's fiance. Has been for several years. Right, they've been engaged forever or something. Five and years. Five <laughs> year engagement. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, allegedly, allegedly, is that what they're saying? Allegedly, yeah. He had some type of sexual consensual, consensual uh, 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 relationship. Uh, relationship with this woman that's mm-hmm. on his staff, and he is facing. Um, they re- they're reporting. He can get suspended for a year mm-hmm. from the team for what he did, um, detriment to the team, and he and it's against uh, Boston Celtics uh, policy, team policy, or whatever. So, what say he? What, what's co- going the on? The code of conduct. The code of conduct. So apparently, he has signed a contract that advises that he would not fraternize with coworkers. Right. And it's you know protection from the sexual harassment type of situation. That he's in a happen. position of authority, man. He's in a position of authority. He's taken his team last year to the playoffs, and now he has disrespected a national treasure, Nia Long. Oh my God! A national black treasure, a national black woman monument of Nia Long, by throwing it all away with some chick in the office consensually. Right. Mutually consensual, and apparently she's supposed to be married to whoever this woman is. Oh, she's married too. Oh, she's Those married. Those are the rumors that she is also she is a married woman, and they've started. If you've been on Twitter, they started posting pictures of women who do work in the Celtics office or whatever. And there's been a response to please stop posting these women because they're trying to find out who it is to try to figure out who it is because you're you know putting a woman's her privacy, her everything is out there. They're listing names, you know. Black Twitter is undefeated. Well, people are, the rumor is that it's this light-skinned shorty that's on his actual staff. staff like, there's right. women in the organization, but on his coaching staff, there's yeah. one woman, mm-hmm. and they're saying that that's it. And it's the internet. We don't know. We don't know who You know what we is. also don't know? We don't know the status of their, uh, is he and uh, Nia, they still together? Are they still, are they, Did what's going on? We don't know. Did, was she not at all the games last season? Was she not at the playoff games with her jersey, with the jersey on, with the green, with their son? They've been living together, and they are. How long? How long does it take to break up? Oh, it only takes five minutes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do we know the status of their relationship right now? Well, apparently, her Twitter post on September 9th was one of enlightenment that stated I saw that, some. that something might be that she knew and now she's moving in a different way. Yeah, because we hearing about it right now. You we know, hearing about it right been... now. So she's probably <laughs> known about it because I think the allegations apparently came forward a little earlier. Mm-hmm. And now it's just hitting the press. Yeah, yeah. Somebody leaked it. Yes. Yeah, somebody somebody leaked, leaked it because this mm-hmm. is something that... They was trying to keep it under wraps. Well, yeah. Yeah, they probably were trying to keep it under wraps and then somebody said, nah, mm-hmm. F that. We're going to get this guy out of here. Now, he's not necessarily out of there yet, mm-hmm. um, but the news got out. And, and 
And Stephen A. came forward and was like, this happens. He said, I know of multiple white men, and I'm paraphrasing, yes. that this that this goes on with and it doesn't get out. Why is this getting out with this with this dude? Right, exactly. <clears throat> There's, you know, the speculation. I mean, come on, Boston is, come on. This is Boston we're talking about already. He's only the fifth black Got coach. Got that damn right. He's the fifth That's a great point. black coach of mm-hmm. the Boston Celtics. And when you look at the history, because I was doing a little research, because mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all know me and you know I like stats. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm in no way defending his behavior or his disrespect of the national treasure known as Nia Long. Me either. Black women delegation. Boys United. in the hood. Boys in the hood. Holla. That's right. Okay. But apparently... 98 games suspension is pretty damn extreme in the history of NBA suspensions other than bannings. 82 games. Yeah, 82 games. Yep. The the only other highest one was who? Was it Ron Artest? Ron Artest. Yeah, he he knuckled up on a few people. Yeah, that was the coach. That was the coach choking, um, punching, and threatening to kill. Oh, no, 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 no. So, Ron Artest is the one that got into oh, a fight Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's meta. Latrell Sprewell Latrell choked Sprewell his coach. Choked his coach. Okay, sorry. How long did he get suspended for? Latrell Sprewell, 68 games. 68 games. That was the longest? That is the longest in NBA history. That was 1997. What did uh, the meta get? Meta got, hold on. I'm going to tell you. Man, these dudes, and they, you know, those are, um, those are like physical your uh, your battery there. Oh, okay. those are like physical situations, like choking somebody out, punching uh, fans in the face, and stuff like that. So Ron Artest, I know okay. that Ron. Oh, oh, okay, I got it. Eighty six games. Eighty six. Ron Artest got eighty six games. Yes. Yeah, and I'm sorry. And sixty eight games went to Latrell Sprewell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty five games to Mark Stevens. Mm-hmm. Um, that's 2019 Golden State. These guys. That's cool. Um, and then our next favorite one, Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas, 50 games. Oh, for the gun thing. For bringing a gun to the locker room. Yeah, that's no joke. And then those are the, are the highest of the suspensions ever. Never has a coach faced something of this sort. Right. So the other rumor before I left the office that New York Post was wiggling around mm-hmm. is that he's considering completely stepping down now. Oh, that might happen. Yeah, he's yeah. considering completely leaving. That might happen. And so now the question is, well, was this all the ploy to get him out to begin with? Right. Mm-mm-mm. Man. But again. I mean, you you listen, if he if he did this, then that's his fault. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can call it what you want. How you gonna cheat on Neil Long, man? <laughs> hey man, Neil Long might be crazy at home. You never know. Why it she always might not gotta be a good be, why it always gotta be that the women gotta be crazy. Not saying that it has to be. Yeah, but why, she is might be first, but why is it the first thing? Is that the first thing I said? That's the first thing. Is that the first thing I said? I don't think so. What's the first thing you said? Hmm? What's the first thing you said? I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll edit this down and I'll let you know what it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, somebody do somebody last week or somebody another day, you were like, well, you might have been crazy. Why do always got to be the one that got to be crazy? Why can't it just be that he has no self-control? That could be it. That could be it. It could be a miserable relationship. Everybody assumes. See, this is what happens. Mm-hmm. All right, a guy he he goes out there, he does whatever, and people assume like, how can you cheat on Nia Long? As if Nia Long is perfect, or as if she is the ideal girlfriend. How could you cheat on Nia Long? We don't know anything about Nia Long. Okay. Do we? We don't. Other than she's a national treasure. <laughs> she's a national treasure. Black who woman could delegation. Be, who could be at home beating the dog shit out of her husband on a daily basis, or her boyfriend, or or fiance. You don't know these people. We don't know these people. We are just looking from the outside in. So any point of view has to be entertained. And we are lifting, we, the black woman delegation, are lifting me along up and supporting her right now. We told her to flash up the bat signal. Let us know what you need us to do if we need to. If we need to rally in the streets, <laughs> you do. I'll do what y'all gotta do. I'm gonna tell you what. I, I ain't rallying from none of these Negroes. I have no idea what goes on in their household. I know we don't know, but you know what I'm it's, saying? it's still, you know. I, and shout out to Essence Magazine for posting tribute to Neil Long today on their page. I think she's going to be on the cover of their magazine, but it was just like perfect timing this morning that they did this whole digital spread. You know, for Neil Long. I like Neil Long. 
you know, yes. as an as an actress, you know what I'm saying, and as yes. a um and as a celebrity, uh, like personality. She's a black woman. I, I know. like you me think about her from the '90s or even like the, yeah, the '90s up to now. Mm-hmm. She has aged beautifully. She is 51 she years old. She looks great. Always, always pleasant in interviews and stuff like that. Dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dope. But hey, man. This, <laughs> this, this Negro. This dude, huh? What did she shot? What if she threw his PS4 out the window or something? You don't know what happened Listen, before that. All I know is, <laughs> I guess we know why they ain't never got married. Oh, maybe, this is, maybe this is the root of They've it. They've been engaged for five years, you said? Yeah, Ooh, like man. Dang. They might have been busy. Like, you know, he's basketball and she acting and stuff like that. They just ain't do it yet. <laughs> you never know. Listen, I'm trying to offer some type of, you know, you never know. You never know what's going on. That's the thing. You this never is true. know. This is true. Man, maybe she knew something deep down and that's why she ain't married. Ne- maybe so. Maybe she knew all along that there was some things. Yeah, maybe maybe she's not something. Maybe well, they have an open relationship. And it could be that as well, but I don't think she wanted to diss open. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that would be a bad. That'd be a bad move. If they were in an open relationship, then not and having sex with the a woman that is on your staff going against your job, you are putting everything in jeopardy at that point. All the money. Everything in jeopardy. All the money. You know what I mean? So just threw it out the window. Nah, fumbled the fumble. He fumbled mini bags. That's unfortunate, y'all. <laughs> he fumbled everything. M- mini bags. Mini bags. He, what if he? What if he keeps the job? And he recovers from it. A, a year later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because black folks don't get suspended for a year with pay. <laughs> he ain't get paid. He ain't get paid. <laughs> Come on. We know. <laughs> he ain't get paid. You better off stepping down and going and and, and coaching overseas somewhere cuz you you just you just just screwed it up. Well, one man mm. came through and saved the day for all these men who had missteps Ooh. throughout the week. Ooh. And that is the one and only she belongs to the street. Future. Oh, sh- kiss my, my guy. Kiss my grits. My guy Future came through kiss and saved the day my. for all men by selling his catalog, part of his catalog, for 70, an, an apparent, uh, a reported $75 million. Allegedly. People said... <laughs> The internet is complaining, saying that he sold it for too little. <laughs> and I'm like, this dude just made $75 million. And he put out uh, a tweet. Did you see the tweet that he put out? Successful people or something. He said, unsuccessful people have no idea what it means to be successful. <laughs> Yo, this guy, I love, I love Future, son. He is hilarious. Come on, 75. You got to applaud that. That's a black man right there making moves. Yeah. Hey, we're going to help you out with that, Gina Marie. <laughs> we didn't see Sierra selling her cattle off for $75 million. <laughs> oh, why you trying to come for Sierra? Because I know, know what you're doing right now. Because Russell already right brought now. it. Russell already got her stuff. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, my, well, the 49ers is about to uh, knock Russell out. Commission in a couple of days. We'll play different Broncos. Holla at me. Whatever. Look, man. So, yeah, man. My guy Future saved the day for these dudes because they wasn't doing it right. Future ain't saving nobody's day. $75 million. $75 million. I pay all your baby mamas, Future. Put they, some they, trust funds they, up for straight. all these kids. He, they good. His kids good. Mm-hmm. What are we talking about? Goodbye. These kids good, he yo. He ain't saved no day. Huh? He ain't saved no day. $75 million worth. He Bye. saved some. Okay. <laughs> mm. Look, we didn't come here to talk about... These dudes. Yes, we did. We had to get that out of the way real quick <laughs> because it's everywhere today. We had to. Today is not about them. It's not about them. Today is about the Woman King review. Mm. Oh my goodness! Yes. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! If you have not seen the movie, do not listen any further. No, keep listening. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> we gonna talk about it. Comment and share. Okay, comment share. But if you haven't, don't be mad at us because we're talking about it. Okay, we saw it. We went and watched the Woman King yesterday. Yes, we did. We and had a man, movie date. What a yeah, it was dope, right? During yeah, the week. It's, good. it's always fun to do popcorn, curly. Yes. Co- we had curly fries. Curly fries. You know what I'm saying peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's. Wine. You brought a whole bottle of wine because I wanted red wine. Holla. 
You usually, you usually get the uh the, the little cans, the, yes. the the wine in the can, but I didn't want those this time. I wanted red wine, and you said, "Here, put, put it in my bag." I said, "What? Put what in your bag? Like the whole bottle?" <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Like, yo, you are a law. Bro- <laughs> she in there taking pictures and video. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna get arrested. <laughs> no, we not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had a, um, a movie date and we saw the Woman King, and it was incredible. It was phenomenal. I mean, <clears throat> there were so many emotions, so many things about this story. The the, the cinematography is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's a time period. It's a timepiece thing. It's there's so many things. It's about our our ancestors history yeah um whether it be very unpleasant but also the triumphant parts of the story yeah it, it was um I, it's it's hard to, to where to even start right mm-hmm. um but yeah like you said the cinematography the storyline the story within the story because yes. you had a true story it's telling a, a real story of something, uh-huh. something that happened uh-huh. and then you had a storyline within that that they had to put it you know they put uh-huh. into the movie to make that, it yeah you know to uh, you know and so this and like we said spoiler alert so we're not gonna hold back uh-huh. so this story of this this woman warrior yes. who d- who found her daughter yes man and that didn't they didn't reveal that until like the second half of the movie or so. We had no idea. No, they hid that so well. They did it really well. They did that really well. And I don't know about you. I spent the second half of the movie in tears. Yeah, it was just running. Yeah. It was just crazy that the emotion, um, the feeling, and then then there was like not just tears like of, of sadness and just uh, relating to the, the emotion we saw, but this this the, the pride. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This uh, seeing this 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 display of this p- power and blackness. Yeah, a lot of blackness. It gave it gave me more feelings like Black Panther, um, and I really really hope that for the history that isn't told about our people about our ancestry about our you know beginnings for the history that isn't told in the books i hope this helps for the younger generations to investigate Mm -hmm. and learn and be more aware of the slave trade Mm -hmm. of the ruling the kings that we had the the uh the dynasties of royalty that we we come from and not just only that our history begins at slavery it sure doesn't because it doesn't it sure doesn't and that's that's, that's one thing kanye said a while back not to, you know, go kanye here but he did say <clears throat> why does the history books always start at slavery and not at the drums Right, and the drums were very, very, very important during this. Very important. The cinematography, the choreography. Yes. And that goes for the fight scenes and the dancing. And the dancing, yes. Incredible. Incredible. Shout out to the producers. Shout out to the producers. Viola Davis. Her her, her and her husband's company. And her husband. Yes, mm-hmm. shout out to them. And um, I forgot her name, but it's a woman director as well. Uh-huh. There's another hyphenated name. I'm yeah, gonna look, but I'm not gonna pull up my laptop. And the young girl, she was um, she's actually South African. Okay. And what and whatnot? So she's an actress. Um, she was amazing. That that she scene, was. the scene when she broke down crying when when homegirl got killed. Oh. Yo. Like I was talking to Joe about earlier. You forget that she was an actor at that point. That yeah. she was acting. Like that was her sister. Yeah. The, the, her and her mentor. And did you notice? <sighs> did you notice when she was holding her when she was dying that her nails were all pointy like hers? They were pointy like hers too. Did you notice? I that? I didn't notice that. Yes, nice. I saw that. Nice. I peeped that, and I was like, "That's how much of an impact <clears throat> that she had on her." And that girl who died, who was the lead trainer. Yeah. You know she's from the James Bond movie. Yes, yes, that's where that's where she's from. Uh-huh. I, mean, I recognize, but I just couldn't tell. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember where she she's was from. from the James she Bond was dope. Movie. She was dope in that too. Yes. So shout out to the 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 other. Shout out. The the cast. The cast was 
Phenomenal. Phenomenal, yo. John Phenomenal. Boyega as the king. Yep. Shout out to the king's wives. Yep. All, all ten of them. All ten of them, I think it was. <laughs> all the, they were, they were <laughs> fabulous. They looked amazing. Yeah. Especially, uh, what was her name? Sasha Shea? Or you you know you'd be remembering I, mean, I, I almost remember those names. her name, but the main queen who was really his, um, who was big on advising him, she uh, did not like. Uh, the general Viola yeah, yeah. Davis her character. Role. She didn't like her character. She didn't like how much he listened to her. She was trying to play her position till she got that position, yeah, that high got, position. Yeah, she got it for about five minutes. Five then he knocked her right back out of it. And then, yes, <laughs> just amazing to see. And then the history of it all. Mm-hmm. So you had this um, uh, a tri- was a, a tribe. The who, was, who was and that's the ones that were um selling off they were mm-hmm. capturing and selling off people from other tribes to the um you know Europeans. to the Europeans and whatnot mm-hmm. and and you know feeding the slave trade feeding the slave trade because the history of this is six <clears throat> oh what sixteenth or seventeenth sixteenth and seventeenth century mm-hmm. Africa I guess the history is that there were three brothers who were kings and Remember his pre he in the movie he says his previous brother sold off their mother. Yep. So there were some Crazy. factions about the rulers and what back then, which is now what's called Benin. Mm-hmm. And they worked with the slave the slavers. Yep. Um, from various countries to come and get the, the made stock. their job easier. Yeah, they helped them. Um, but then in the movie there was sort of this reckoning or this examination of what they're doing isn't right. Mm-hmm. And they want to change the the past to do right by the people that are there and to stop right. giving the slaves over or giving the people over to the trade. And this was the tribe. They were changing their own ways because yes. he, you remember when the, um, the slave trader was um <clears throat> telling him that look if you stop now you just I'm saying you we we you're you're rich because of this because of this if you stop now you're gonna be the king of nothing yes you mm-hmm. know what I mean because they profited well because those the the Europeans came with stuff yeah they was dropping Guns. off some weapons yep. um fabrics they were dropping off all kinds of things yep um to pay in exchange for the the human cargo that they were then walking away with yeah. And it was just, it was a lot, like, sh- seeing the holding patterns and the, the, the auction block and the, oh, more, man. you know, the cleaning of the... The beginning yeah, piece. The beginning piece. You know what I mean? And, and they were taking, like, some of the strongest warriors mm-hmm. and imprisoning them and, and getting them over, you know, because they had guns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know they had I mean? guns and horses. Guns and horses. Guns and horses. Man, that and was. And the country that they were, the, the ones that visited during the movie were from Portugal. Yes. And so that was a big thing when you think about the slave trade because remember, the, in the, the, the migration and the ships and stuff, they made it all the way over to Brazil. Mm-hmm. So there you have it. There you go. Here you go. Brown folks everywhere. Brown folks everywhere. But just. Very interesting stories and sub stories and I go fighting. see it again. Oh yeah, I want to see it again. Mm-hmm. The fighting was amazing. I, I, oh, the fighting was incredible. Look at like the choreography on that was nuts. Can we talk about Viola's abs? Yeah, a couple abs there. Viola. They worked out like Madam. I think she said they were working out for, uh, four hours a day or something a like day. that. Um, the arms on every one of the the mm-hmm. ladies, and they was cutting and and stabbing and practicing, and and the the sisterhood of the warriors inside the king's palace, where no men were allowed, where they trained and where they learned and all those things, that was just. Um, Joe Joe told me uh, I, I spoke with him earlier about this. And uh, I forgot the word that they use in the movie because I didn't catch it. Mm-hmm. But the men that were only the only type of men that were allowed in that area of the kingdom where all the women were, were men who were castrated. I didn't know that. He said that she said it when she was explaining. And I missed that piece. I missed that. I missed that piece. So wow. that one dude, not saying that that's the reason why he was flaming gay, mm. but he... um. I guess he had been castrated. That's the only reason. But he was the only ma- male back there, right? There's yeah. other ones. 
I didn't see any others. No, the only time when when the elders were meeting, but they were meeting on the outside, outside right? Wow, yep. I didn't realize. I, that. I missed that piece. I totally missed yeah, that piece. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, man. Um, <sighs> what a great job. Um, for me, just seeing this movie yesterday, and and we had before before twenty four hours passed. In my mind, this movie has pushed into the top ten movie for me. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, and it's like mm -hmm. it's just, but it has to stand the test of time because I have movies in my life that I watch every time I see it. Like if I'm just turning the channel and it's on, I'll gonna watch. watch it. I'm yeah, gonna do I'm that. gonna watch Goodfellas. I'm gonna watch Scarface. I'm right. gonna watch Boys in the Hood. I'm gonna watch these movies yeah. no matter what. Um, but this one, so I'll see how this one goes. Um, how how it stands the test of time, but just the quality of the movie, it was solid from front. Yes. To back, it didn't even feel like two hours and some change. It went by fast. It went by fast. It went by really fast, and that—that's a testament to just the writing, mm -hmm. the production, storytelling, the storytelling, everything. And this movie, fifty million to make. That's how much it costs to make. Fifty million just for the 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 production and mm -hmm. stuff of the movie. Mm -hmm. And they opened. They had a projected opening of twelve million, and they actually did eighteen. You know how long they've been trying to... Oh, that's dope. Yeah, they, they crushed it. They crushed you know how long they've been trying to make this movie? Seven years. Seven whole Seven years. years. Seven years. I don't understand why it takes that long. Oh, because we, we tell them some truth? Well, they said it takes a long time. It's hard to get a movie made in Hollywood, period. Mm -hmm. But then you add on top of that what they're talking about, mm -hmm. who the, what the cast looks like, yeah. what the director... You know what I'm saying? All those things in it, in it. Seven years. Shouldn't have to be like that. Seven years, yo. Seven years. And even the girl that played uh, her daughter, that ended up being her daughter, she's from South Africa, and she said she read this script in 2019, and she had no idea what the, of this story. She had no idea. Wow. She didn't know about this story at all. It's amazing. It's crazy, right? It's really crazy. So this is, this is, uh, the, so there, there just, let's speak to that. Well, we don't have to speak in depth, but just to speak to the, the educational side, just getting that story out there and people being able to, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So go look it up. Go yeah. read some more about it. Go yeah. learn about the story of, and and don't listen to the find out for yourself and don't listen to the 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 protesters. <laughs> right. Because the fact I found that so crazy to me that there were folks actually saying don't go see the movie because it glorifies or it's or it's factually incorrect or historically is inaccurate or it's emasculating to black men or just all the the, 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 the whatever out there. People, Go see it for yourself. People are idiots. I mean. And then on the other side, internet. a lot of times on the internet, you're getting a, lo a lot of this um, this type of stuff is bots. It don't, yeah. even be, it don't even be people a lot of time. That's real scary that somebody is paying bots to do that type of stuff for easy, a movie. Easily just program just go they against. They did it for the election. They sure so, did. Hey, we, we, learned. <laughs> we, we, we learned. We learned. We learned. We learned. They did that for the election. Yep. That's how we had you there, we had. You out there arguing with a computer, with yeah. a program. Yep. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, get, go see it. Go, you know, they said the largest demographic, of course, was black women. 60% of the moviegoers over this weekend were black women. 60%. So, dope. Let's get out there and support mad. it. Yeah, man. Y'all white folks go see it too. Yeah. This is history. It's history. His, and, and, and as I watched Viola's interview with her husband, they had to add a storyline to it to not make it a documentary. Of course, you have to do that. You have to, There's you know. There's nothing wrong with that. That's making a movie. <laughs> They're making a movie. Right. So this is how you get us in the seats. Yeah, it has to be entertaining. There has to be a story right. in there. There has to be a story. There has to be a story. It just can't be a bunch of people running out, killing them, and exactly. chopping and, and stabbing. So, and it can't just only focus on, on the slavery and, and, and the bad stuff. There was great stuff about the, the kingdom and the ruling and the... You know, just uh, the royalty and the people and the honor and, and life yeah. as it was back then, yeah. what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, all, all those things, man. It was, mm -hmm. it was, um, it just, it, it, it was motivating. It was inspirational. Absolutely. Um, it is, you know, I already have, I already had that desire. You and I talk about going back. Yes. And, you know, and, and I've, I've, I've never are. been, but right. here I am saying going, going back. back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I've never been, but that's yeah. what it feels like going back. 
You know what I'm saying? So um, it just it just puts you more in touch with that. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that in you, then you might end up with that watching a movie like this. Absolutely. Because it's just it's just incredible, man. It's fantastic. It's <clears throat> worth it. See it once, see it twice. Yes, indeed. Yes. The Woman King. The Congrats Woman to King. all of them. That was so. Oh, yes. Man, Maybe job. Violet will get this Oscar nod. Maybe the movie will get an Oscar nod. I don't yeah. know if Hollywood is ready for it. Shoot. I don't know if Hollywood is going to give this the nod that it deserves, but we shall see. They should. They should. She bodied that. Yeah, but the she Academy, we'll see. They, they said they had her lift a heavy weight so she can get bulkier. Yeah. So it's more believable that she can kill like a 250 pound, a 50 pound man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did so you, it's, it's that, them that. choreography, they was taking some brothers down. Yeah, no doubt. They were taking brothers down. They were doing their own stunts and all that shit. Too. That's, I that's watched serious. them on a breakfast club today. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I had to do a little, you know what I'm saying? I had to yeah. do a little field research out there. Yeah, I had to See what as they had well. to say about it. So, yes. good stuff, man. Great stuff. Yeah, man. So, yeah, it was, uh, if y'all if y'all listen this far, hey, hey. <laughs> hope you saw it already. If y'all saw the movie, man, tell us what you th- what you think about it. Yeah, comment below. Comment, comment below. Comment. Let us know. Did yeah. you see it? Are you gonna see it again? Who'd you go see it with? Did you go by yourself? Did you go by yourself? That's cool. Yeah. Go does. see the movie. Did you cry? Yeah. What, yeah. what is it? How I, could you not? I did. How could you not? God did. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> I definitely did. It's like, yo, you know me. The older I get, the more emotional I get too. Yeah. So once the tears started up, shit's gonna even stop. It's like, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, um, but it was it was like that though. They invoked a lot of emotion in this movie. Absolutely. Um, and they did a really great job with that. So I gotta give them a lot of credit for that. Absolutely. Well done. Thanks for going to the movies with me. You treat it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for that. You know, Appreciate date it. night. It's good to have a date Curly night. Fries and stuff. You shared them with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We killed popcorn. Them. We killed the crush we, popcorn. Yes, we did. Well done on buttering. And hey man, you know, I'll be on, I'll be on butter duty. You hey. fill that halfway, bro. Fill that halfway. <laughs> I gotta get some butter and salt on that bottom layer. <laughs> I mean, I really should do it in three trips. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they fill it up halfway. You do that, yeah. then they fill it up to the spilling over the top. You can't do nothing with that. Yeah, you can't. fill it up a little. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? One, little, third, one third, one third, one third. third. That's yeah. how I need it. That's, that's saying. That's top how it all. Pause. It. You gotta, you gotta do it in thirds. I do it in thirds, man. They gonna get tired of me. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Yes, yeah, a lot of fun, man. So. Where's brunch, baby? Where's brunch? Where's, Where's brunch? brunch? We going to brunch this weekend? I don't know. Are we? No, no, we might. Mm-hmm. We might. Maybe have. We might have brunch at home this weekend. Who knows? Okay, if, if we are, you cooking it this time? Oh, you know, I can cook breakfast. You know, I don't play I around know. with that. You I ain't lose my confidence yeah, in breakfast. You haven't made, you know, that bananas fostered like the French toast thing. I know. It's been a yeah, while since I made, made that. that in a very long time. Long time. That's how you. That's how you got me. You doing that on Valentine's Day? That's how I got Day. you. Valentine's Day, you made that for me. That's that's how that's how I did it. Nah, that's not how you did it. I can <laughs> tell you how you did it. But. Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, man. Yes. It's Rocky here. Trina Marie. We are out. Deuces.